Viewer discretion is advised. Yeah, how you doing? Is this is this the exterminator service? Uh, we have an order for a truck, and apparently this guy's using the truck um, for work, for his job. He's an exterminator. My dad got this idea where like, he's going to call this guy, set up an appointment, and they're pretty much going to come to us. I'm here now. I'll be here within the hour. Absolutely. I'll wait for you here. Yep. Louis Pizarro, I'll be waiting. Outstanding, man. Thank you so much. Bye. The thing of it is that I got a phone call from my brother telling me, hey, you know what? I got an appointment with the, with the, with the Terminator guy. Go, what are you talking about? And then he said, well, I made an appointment. You guys are going to go to this address, okay? The guys are going to show up there, and you're going to just play the part. Like, you know, they're there to turn, you know, inspect the house and the fuming gate, whatever, blah, 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 blah. So what I did now is I called up Sonia. Sonia's with Linda. Um, they're going to go over to the house and wait for this cat to get there. Uh, she's calling up Freud. Uh, they're either going to pick up Freud first, going to meet him at the house. I need Freud there, that way he can pick the truck, you know, take off while Sonia and Linda talk to the guys and let them know what's going on. So I'm hoping that this will be a, a pretty good repo and um, the client will be happy and we'll make some money. So let's see what happens. I got to wait for the call back. In my opinion, I wish every repo was like that where they just come to us, but realistically speaking, that's not going to happen every time. Hello? Hey, Freud. What's on there? Hey, hey, where you at, man? Uh, I'm at the valley. Okay, do, do, me, do me a favor. Do you, let me make a little pit stop here real quick. Um, do you have a pen? Can you make a little pit stop? Um, my brother just called me. He made an appointment for that account. Remember the pesticide guy, the termite uh, truck that we're, we're looking for? She calls me. She's like, I need you here. She's the boss. I have to go. Go play dum dum. We get to tell into the deal. We get to the address, obviously. And when we get there, obviously they're not there yet. Yeah, well, you know what? If they're right here, let's see here. We're just sitting there in the heat, because it was hot. 100 degrees to me is just too hot. We're sitting there, and let me tell you, I was sweating like a pork chop. I might need to lose some weight, but what can I tell you? All right, I'm sitting at the address right now. Do these people know that I'm going to be here? Finally, I call my brother and say, hey, when is these guys coming? They'll be there in 20 minutes. OK, 20 minutes, fine. You know, once I, once I got there, um, Sonia's just, just sitting outside with Linda, and they're like, oh, you know, the guys are 20 or 30 minutes late. So you want me just to try to pick it and drive it away? Yeah. Just kick back in, kick back in the truck, and um, when you see Linda walking over there, if it happens to show up wherever, I'm going to have her verify the Vinny here the heads up. So you want me to I'm like, okay. I mean, uh, if you know Sonia the way that I do, you never really tell Sonia no. Because if you tell Sonia no, trust me, Lou, you're going to hear from Lou, you're going to hear from Sonia, and you're going to hear some more from Sonia. Uh, Manny. Hey, uh, all right, Linda. Uh, hold the deputy, please. You want to know what the van is? Walk, walk you want to hold on to this? No, just walk over there, kind of, because it's U.S. You know, um, look at the. Oh. Hi. Hi. I think to uh, Mr. Luis Pisano, please. Uh, yeah, he's making his way over here, and he told me to be here for you guys. Oh. You're Manny. Yes, yeah, my name is Manny. Car. This is Frank. Help you out doing service. Okay. Uh, do you know about what time they'll be here? Um, he's actually like five minutes away. Um, can I see? Yeah. Can I see exactly what are they gonna do today? Yeah. You know what? We're gonna be doing a. Uh, just a so regular... he starts talking to them, and I noticed that Linda, in her own little way, she's creeping up, and she goes to Vin the car, and she t gives me the thumbs up. That's the one, and. I take my pics with me, and she even opened the door for me. I mean, it was like full service, you know? I get inside, I lock myself in just to make sure, and I try to pick it in. Yeah, $695. Oh, six, I thought you were going to say $6.95. <laughs> Meanwhile, Freud had walked out of the truck and got in there and started doing his thing, and I was talking with the guys, kind of like drawing their attention so they wouldn't see that Freud was like in there, you know? The story. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, hey, hey, hey. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, excuse me. What's going on? Oh, wow. Hey. Excuse me. Hey, excuse me. Uh, hey, Joe. Somehow, when Sonia's talking to the guys, they turn around and they see me there, you know, and that's when everybody started getting a little bit upset and started yelling. Hold on, you guys, guys. Linda, get in the truck. Get in the truck. Get in the truck. Excuse me. Hey. You guys, I always tell you guys to come over here. Hey, yo. Right. We got an order for repossession on this truck. They've been looking for it. So and um, I'm trying to explain to the guys, hey, you know what, come here, let me explain to you. I said, Linda, you know what, go ahead and take the truck. And then I'm telling these guys, hey, you know, I got an order for repossession on, on this truck. No, well, we've already paid it, I'm the owner, blah, 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 whatever. 
Come on. Linda? Come on. Go ahead and meet up with Come on now. Come on. No, 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 Oh, that's I could have got a couple of good hits in there, you know? But still, it's two guys with one woman, okay? And trying to make the ridiculous, you know, attempt to try to take the paper away from Linda. I had Linda, you know what? Just take off. Get a ride. You know, sometimes the vehicles are easy to start, sometimes they're not. I mean, I can tell you that Hondas are the easiest things to, to, to start, but sometimes they just don't want to pick over. You know, but in this particular time, I mean, I was able to do it fast, and fortunately, I did it right. So it was great. Hey, I was like, I got the damn truck. I don't care about nothing else. I get paid. All I think about is getting paid. I received a call from an informant that uh, he has the whereabouts of a backhoe tractor that we're looking for for a leasing company. So um, the guy's supposed to be at uh, at this uh, warehouse place here and uh, locally, and he wants some money. We're gonna give him the information. Hopefully, he's not trying to BS us and try to you know get some free money. And uh, that's pretty much it, man. So hopefully, this guy is uh, you know is the real deal. In a repossession like this one for a piece of uh, machinery, heavy equipment like this, things are a little different. In this guy's case. You know, being a, a backhoe type uh, uh, tractor, normally we'd have to have transport come pick it up or low boy. But fortunate for, the, for us that these are common and people have to drive them on the street to get from spot to spot if it's close by. They have turn signals, they have hazard lights, they have brake lights. Yeah. You got some information you said on the tractor we're looking yeah, for? Yeah, 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 I, exactly. I know where's the truck at and everything, but the thing is that um, I need to collect some money, man. You know, okay. I'm so the You want a finder's fee like you were saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That leads me to believe that the guy's telling the truth. If he's not, I told him I'll be back with the cops. So I'm gonna need to call up Froy and Matt and uh, go repossess his tractor, man, make some money. Froy and I were at lunch uh, having my favorite meal, which is tacos, as you all know, because tacos build better bodies. So we were having lunch and Lou had called uh, Froy and uh, said that we had an opportunity to pick up this tractor. <laughs> Woo! All right, man, here's the deal, all right? This is the, uh, the order on that backhoe tractor where the guy leased it for a week and he's had it for four months. When I made the decision to uh, call up Froy and Matt and take them with me, it's obvious because whenever you go to a construction site to repossess a piece of equipment, there's usually a lot of laborers there, a lot of workers, a lot of people. 6732. I don't see nothing here. So you better go back and get your $200. <laughs> A larger than day. That's the back home. That larger than day. I bet you this. All right, wait, 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 stop. Okay. What do we got? What do we got back there? You know what? They're they're doing constructions. So so what do we want to do? Freud, go ahead of us. Go ahead of us and, and vent it. Because if there's three of us, they're you know gonna what? see Let him. Me go with them. They're gonna know. Stay back. Okay. Stay back. Yeah. We're gonna be about 10, 20 I'm the smallest guy, and you want me to go first? Yeah, because you blend in. You yeah. do. Uh, really, you blend, you blend in. Blend. They see him. They're gonna know something's up. You do blend. So. What's the vinegar? Hey. So. And we got like a cowboy hat for him or something. <laughs> Once I pull it out, dude, I'm going to jump in the truck and follow him. I'm going to go that way. And I'm going to drive it all the way to Cow Grove. Okay, okay. Get out, Matt. All right, bro. All right. I take people like Froy and Matt with me. Why? They know what they have to do. They know the goal is to repossess the collateral, which in this case was that big tractor, and um, to do whatever, you know, and their means to protect the quarterback. That way I can get in and get out of there. Just keep your distance from me. Keep your distance from me. This gets out of hand. I don't want you in my way. Hey, hey, oh, Louis, Louis, what's your name, man? What's hey, what's your name? What's, what's your name? This backhoe? This backhoe is up hey, for repossession, man. man. Are you George? Relax. What? Are you George? Go talk to this guy, man. Back, back up. Well, it's it's back up. Like yeah, no, 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 no. It's been over here for four months. What are you talking it's about? It's been over here. No, don't argue with me. Talk to him. What are you talking about? Man, get out. Hey, hey, hey. 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 Are you George? No. Hey, hey. 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 What the hey. fuck? Hey. 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 Hey
you guys out. Okay, who are you? 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 I went to Repo Company. This is Council Repo Company. But he was actually asking me, why was I there? Dumb question. He knows why I'm there. He knows that he leased that tractor for one week. Get the out. 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 <laughs> Every time that maps around, there's always something that happens. There's, he always ends up on the floor with somebody. Hey, stop f it off me, man. F it off me. I'm hey. calling the cops, man. Oh, this, you need to relax. Oh, shit, that's the you need to relax. Okay, the fuck. The, the, f the, f the guy can't even move. He's all like, you know, can't move. And I go over there to try to help him. And then this other dude taller than me grabs me and just pushes me towards Matt and I get up and I don't want to fight it. We're not there to fight, we're there to do a job. Oh, you need to, okay. You need to tell him to relax. Get the f off. Don't, don't him on your ass. Matt, let him go. Matt, let him go. Let him go. Let him go. You know what? Matt's my boy. He's always been my boy, and he'll always be my boy. And if he needs my help, I'm going to help him. I mean, most of the time, he doesn't need help. But if he does need help, I'm there for him no matter what. We were very lucky to get away with it the way we did. Uh, no one got hurt, thank God. Both either, either, either one of them or any of us got hurt. But that was a very dangerous situation. He already explained. He already explained. Did he explain to you what's going on or not? He's mad at me. Okay. I've had showed them how to you know drive some machinery, but they're not comfortable with it yet. If something happens, then okay, I know it's my fault, and we can deal with it. You know, but if I start having repossessors driving these expensive items and, and damaging them, I have to pay for it. Get off, man! Get off! You're gonna get hurt. I'm not playing. Fuck it. You stay right there. Understand something. The repos that you see on these on this on these TV shows are the ones that are extreme. And that's why they have me there. I'm not playing with you, man. I'm not playing either. Hey, well take them down there. Follow me. Just follow me. You wanna play around? Do not just stuff like that. Yeah, no, no, listen, man. You didn't pay for four months. That's GTA. What I mean. Okay? What do you mean? You we said it so many times before that if we never really prepare to do a repo because you never know what you're going to face. Basically, what we need to understand here is that we all need to back each other up. And, I'm, and Freud did. He backed me up 110%. I just don't want to hear any bitching about it afterwards. We got the vehicle. No one got hurt. And um, that's the way it played out. You guys, you get the away from my face, right? You two mother The case here is, is that what he did was illegal. Okay, it was wrong. He took advantage of the situation, and he caught up to him, and we got him. That was what happened there. I mean, I can fly planes, I can fly helicopter, you know, buses, big rigs. So, in my experience, I've learned how to actually, you know, drive and operate all these big types of machinery and equipment. So, whatever other work that you got for us, brother, here's the proof right here. These are the guys right here that, that got into the scuffle, man. Right. We got into a big fight. Put so, up yeah, man, he wasn't going to give it up. You may not agree with the way I handle myself, but you know what? You do it your way, and I'll do it mine. If you don't like it, you can kiss my ass. So we're, uh, so what's happening is that we're going to go check out the quads. I've been looking for these pair of quads at this guy's house. Apparently, this guy bought these quads to use them as rentals at the beaches and at different events and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. But he's behind on the payments. You know, so we decided to go by, you know, by the house, wasn't there. And then from there, we went to the, uh, to the father's warehouse. Doors open, so there's people in there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um. Dude, I, I, what are the odds of that? Look at all those motorcycles there. There's three motorcycles. Sure enough, brother, we get there, boom. They're outside loading them up. They're ready to go riding. You know what? I'm going to back in and block them right now. Are you going to want to so, take that trailer with us? No, we can't because it's a U-Haul trailer. So what do you want to do? 
we're gonna have to pull them down. So let's just block them. They can't go anywhere anyway. There's no truck on the trailer. So go talk to them. I'm gonna block them in right now. Luis sees it as maybe this is an opportunity that we have to take. You know, you never know if the guys were actually leaving or coming. You don't want to take the chance if they were leaving. You might not be able to find them again. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Uh, any of you, Jeff? I, I think they were French. You know, they had a, a French accent. Yeah. And the guy starts telling me, well, I'm, I'm, I'm Jeff. And I said, oh, well, you know, we're here to pick up the bikes. And that's when he just started getting a little bit upset. And I started, you know, the typical, no, I already made my payment. You're not taking my bikes, blah, blah, blah. And all I wanted to do is just go and verify that those other two motorcycles, I mean, the two ATVs, his Jeff, it's got to be the one. You haven't made payments, man. You haven't made payments on both these squads. Did you get them? Yeah. Okay. I paid for those. So, calm down. Don't start yelling at me. You didn't pay for them. I wouldn't be here, all right? You know, obviously these are young guys. Their mentality is different. You know, we're taking away their toys, you know. Look at, relax, dude. Look at, we've no, already no, been no, done. Wait, 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 we got wait, 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 cameras wait, 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 here. Relax. No, no, we don't, don't need to do with you. Hands on me, I didn't put your hands on you. Who don't are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Okay. This is not yours. It's my not with you. So if you don't want no problem with anybody, it's not yours, man. Is it yours? Yeah. It's not yours. They're both under your chest. It's my brother. Okay. You don't want to fight with them. They're very young, you know, and I understand they're upset, but then again, like I told them, you're hiding the bike for a reason. You know, you're hiding them for a reason. So you know you didn't make the payment, and they start yelling and arguing with with Louie, and I'm I'm, I'm trying to explain to the guy. I mean, look at your size and look at Lou's size. All right, man. Uh, just just no, don't, no, no, don't put your no, hands he's, on me, dude. Okay? No, I'm taking you, it down. Put your hands off me. Jeff, you don't stop, you don't, stop, you don't stop, want stop. to get hurt. Hey, stop that. Jeff, move out of the way. Jeff, you do not want to get hurt. They run out of ideas. They're not original anymore. They just right away go and he's bad and all this. And it's like, thank you for stating the obvious. You know, it's like you know. I know I'm fat. We all know we're fat, so just stop telling us that. It's annoying. If you get into a scuffle, you're not going to win. Dude, it's, you're uh, not going to win. Yeah. Oh, you're not I, going I, to I win. Your lawyer's not here at the moment. All right, your lawyer's going to tell you that you're in the wrong, all right? No, 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 no. This has nothing to do with you. So what I what I finally do is that I grab onto one of the quads, you know, I take possession of it, and at that point, it's legally repossessed. Now, what this guy was doing, he started you know, slapping my hand and pushing me. I suggest you go up. I'm not playing. I suggest you go up. If they get hurt, if he gets hurt, he touch my daughter, you mother You want to touch my daughter? She's pushing my daughter. She's pushing my daughter. So finally, I'm pulling the quad out. This guy made the mistake to push my daughter. To push my, that's what, that's where he, he crossed the line. Get away. Get away. No, man. Get away. This is my This is not my This is not my This is not my This is not my This is my This is not 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 my This is Okay, so finally, you know, we're trying to get out of there. The guy jumps on the quad. The guy's being ignorant. Hey, wait, get off! I'm not playing. No, no, no! Get off! 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 I'm not playing with you, man. I don't have my papers. I have my papers. I have my papers. I have my papers. Get off. I'm not playing with you. Hey, you guys need to freaking relax. I have my papers. I have my papers. Get off. I'm not playing with you. Hey, you guys need to freaking relax. At that point, I had to show him that it wasn't a joke, that I'm not here to play. Okay? And if you see the look in his face, he got the point real fast. It was hard for us to get, well, at least for my dad, it was hard for him to get the first one off because we can't take the other one if the first one's not off, right? And we can't just, like, you know, hook up to his trailer and go. Oh, dude. Off. Oh, off. Oh, I love motorcycles, man. I've been riding since I was nine years old. Nine or ten. I own a few motorcycles now. 
I love to ride, you know. So finally, we get them off. We take off with the quads, you know, and uh, we take them around the block. We hook up one to the truck. We tow that one away. Four drives the other one. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine. Are you all right? I'm fine. I just don't like to see you get like that because it like freaks me out. Uh, it makes right. me like. I'm in control. Don't worry. I know, but it just freaks me out that compared to you, you could like snap them in half. You know. <laughs> it's just let's, like, you ready? Mm. All right, let's go. Come on. Mm. Legally, you cannot ride those on the street, but we do have a repo license and we have the repo order. That's why at least I wear the helmet. I know it looks a little funny. It's not a Harley and it's not a regular bike. And it looks funny, but hey, if you're going to ride a bike, might as well do it right. Have fun with it. And that's what I was trying to do. So luckily, none of the two happened. We were able to get to the lot with no problems. We explained it to the finance company what happened. They were happy. They understood. You know, hey, that's part of the game. So, in end, another successful repo.